talking about that art. Because you want to gain public support, political will, to pass a strong climate bill. And yet we're not hearing that art to be talked about. Why is that? Because if you do talk about it, and the public hears about that, say on New York Times, they will see things differently. My other question is, they, Denmark, as I understand, has implemented carbon tax as opposed to cap and trade for years, and that is probably the reason for your success, and also other re direct regulatory approaches. Ca carbon tax, I mean, cap and trade is actually going to create this huge carbon market that puts our climate future in the hands of capitalism. In fact, in the hands of Wall Street exec executives. The revenue can be generated very straightforwardly and, and very quickly implemented by a carbon tax, and most of the revenue should actually be returned to the public in equal shares, not coupled <coughs> to their carbon footprint, so that you can very quickly gain public support, as long as, again, as long as politicians quickly tell their constituency that this is the case so that they will gain, give back the money back into their pocket and they will not be burdened. So that is my Just question. before you answer these questions, actually, we'll make a, a point that may not be uh, widely known, but there actually was a proposal that was made uh, to the uh, uh, Congress to have, uh, to auction off permits, and in many ways it looked very much like Waxman marking, but with the revenue return equal per capita to every American with a social security number. Sure, but so it's um, actually not the instrument so much as what's done. But let's uh, we now turn to the minister. Three questions. Uh, Yar! To the bloody shame that Congress can't solve this problem. <laughs> My name is Captain Trade, and I'm here to say that if these spoiling politicians can't solve the problem, then what we're going to have to do is more trading on the high seas. All right? And I have no problem with that. I have no problem with Putin plunder. A carbon trading market is exactly what we want, thanks to Al Gore who signed it in. So I'd like to say that this is exactly what pirates do, and we should encourage it. A carbon trading system yeah. is not the answer. It's not what we want, and it didn't, does nothing to reduce poverty, does nothing to affect the third world except in a negative way. So these lily livered politicians, if they don't get their act together, unfortunately, we're going to have to answer to those squirrely activists in Copenhagen this December, and we're going to see what happens. Ahoy! 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 <laughs> Look at Waxman Markey. That there can be a deviation of uh, business as usual on behalf of China. And that also we could have sort of a, a discussion and hopefully also target us to when would it be possible for China to peak her emissions. Uh, if you ask China today, I think they will say that's by 2035. Some would say maybe 2030. But it means a lot to the whole global equation. Which year will China peak her emissions? I believe that also with Hu Jintao's speech yesterday at the UN Special Climate Session, uh, they sort of showed on behalf of China that they are going to be a part of this. And, and I think that is huge progress. Actually, it's the first time ever that a Chinese president spoke from the UN restaurant and came to that climate day and he said what he did. I think